Hello, my favorite English language learners. It is your favorite English teacher here, Amy Joy. And right now we are just a few weeks away from the 4th of July, also known as Independence Day. So in this video, I am going to teach you a little bit of history about this American holiday, ways Americans celebrate it, and some vocabulary you need to know in order to talk about this special day in the United States. But before we do that, I want to remind you that my new ebook, 75 Advanced C1, C2 Level Vocabulary Words, is out on sale now. So after watching this video, go to my website, yourfavoriteenglishteacher.com, and order my book today. All right, let's talk about the 4th of July. Independence Day celebrates the adoption of the Declaration of Independence on July 4th, 1776. This declaration was signed by our founding fathers to officially separate the 13 colonies from Great Britain. And the founding fathers is a nice vocabulary word, which just refers to the important men who founded or established or created our country. And the most famous signature on the Declaration of Independence is by a man named John Hancock. There is a story or a myth in the US that John Hancock signed his name so big so that the King of England could see his signature without having to wear glasses. He was not afraid of how the king would respond and really wanted to make sure that the king saw his name on this declaration. And interestingly, if someone asks you for your John Hancock, they are asking for your signature. So this little piece of history is still relevant today and has even come into our everyday vocabulary. Now, I have actually read that this story isn't really true, but it is still fun to tell and believe in because of how patriotic it is. And the word patriotic means that you feel a deep love, loyalty, or respect for your country. So today I am wearing kind of patriotic clothes in my red and white, and if you are patriotic, it means you really love your country. We also use this word as a noun. You can say patriotism. For example, the story of John Hancock represents patriotism. And we even use the word patriot to refer to people who fight for our country. So during the war between the US and England, Patriots fought for our freedom from Great Britain. And before we move on to how Americans celebrate this holiday, I just want to remind you to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you can keep learning about American culture with me. Now today, Americans celebrate this holiday in a variety of ways. One of the most iconic and exciting traditions is going to watch the fireworks show. Interestingly, fireworks are actually even more popular on the 4th of July than they are on New Year's Eve. Everywhere I have lived in the United States will celebrate the 4th of July with fireworks, but this is not always the case on New Year's Eve. I know that globally, countries will celebrate New Year's Eve with fireworks, and while sometimes that's true in the US, Fireworks are really a big representation of the 4th of July specifically. So if you are ever in the United States for 4th of July, I really recommend you go check out one of these fireworks displays. Now, during a fireworks show, there is usually some patriotic music playing, like our national anthem. The word national anthem refers to the song that represents a country. Now, our national anthem is called the Star Spangled Banner. And the word banner is just a synonym for flag. So the title of our national anthem means a flag covered in stars. To be honest with you, I have never seen the word spangled outside of this context. So I think this word is a little bit older. But if you ever hear the phrase, the Star Spangled Banner, that is referring to America's national anthem, our country's song. Now, another popular way to celebrate the 4th of July is at parades. These processions typically feature marching bands, floats, and people dressed in patriotic clothes, or just basically wearing red, white, and blue. And since Independence Day is always in the summer, it's a very popular time to also do outdoor activities. So many Americans will go to the beach or to lakes to swim, go on boats, or just sunbathe. We also have a lot of barbecues and picnics. So some typical 4th of July food includes grilled burgers, hot dogs, corn on the cob, 
And when I was growing up and my parents would take me to the fireworks shows, my mom and I would always share a big bag of kettle corn or like sweet popcorn. I don't know if everyone considers this a 4th of July food, but for me, kettle corn always reminds me of the 4th of July and watching the big fireworks with my family. So there you have it, a little bit of history about the 4th of July, also known as Independence Day, and how Americans celebrate it. Let me know in the comments how your country celebrates its history. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something new. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel so you can keep improving your English with me.